The one who ran a saw blade into Lord Scabrus Scrotus's very brain bag, as if cutting dead stump. Saw your ride. Followed it here. We all followed it here. Found your monkey, and that monkey was made to sing <laughs> about you. Woman, a child, a whole little family. You must be the dad. Well, now, daddy's gonna die. I don't touch him. Daddy, by the tiny star beast. Oh, and there's a surprise for you. I'll tell you. My blade peels away the first layer of your skin! What is it done?
<laughs> Lord Scrotus was here! <laughs> he heard that monkey song and he dug it about a little family! A woman and a child and a dog. Lord Scrotus is gonna hurt you more than you could ever hurt me. He's there right now, killing him slow! <laughs> In all sorts of tasty ways! I catch the shot! I took it upon myself to bring her back to her first legs. The angel, the magnum of the stone. Righteous, it was not. I confess. What could this lonely acolyte do? What could I possibly do? You meant to take her from me. You meant to plant your petrol tank back here. So? So? Where would so lucky be? What's, what's my place? It doesn't matter anymore. Please, say, let's go somewhere else. Anywhere. I, there's nothing for us here. Please! Oh, no. No, no. No, no, no. You're too late. Scrotus was here. He murdered them. Scrotus. I will have his blood. I must find him. And end him. But where is he? Nobody knows where he goes. No saints. Only his war boys know his patterns. His zigzags and desperate unholy movementations. Blood bag upside down in the organic mechanics. He called himself Scab. Was a war boy, he said. Was with Scrotus. He said so. Oh, he'll know. Yeah, he'll know. And he will tell me. 